this is Ben Adam, the spiritual counselor, always excited to bring to you the revelatory message of spirituality. Today on this episode, I want to, I'll be giving you practical spiritual keys on how to quiet the force of negativity in your life. Join me. So oftentimes, I have, um, in the course of my spiritual interactions and spiritual engagements, I tend to see a whole lot of prayer points that are really alien in spirituality. I hear lots of people talking about the forces from their father's house, the forces from their father's household, the forces, the spiritual forces from their father's lineage, and a whole lot of things. But no one is really talking about the spiritual negative, vicious authorities or entities from your mother's side or from your maternal side. The truth about spirit, the truth about this is that 65 to 70 percent of what is happening negatively in your life is from your mother's house. 65 to 70 percent of the giftings or the spiritual giftings in you is through your mother is from your mother's lineage. And so, what am I trying to establish? The mother's lineage or the mother's side carries so much or plays a very vital role in spirituality. When you see the deep gift of a person, you could always trace it to the maternal ability, to the maternal side. If you see the deep spiritual, negative, vicious power going on in a person's life, it can easily, if you check it deeply, you will find out that there is a strong hole in the mother side. So today I want to teach you on this episode how to quiet negative spiritual forces against your life, whether from your mother side or from your father's side, or from your uncle's side, your brother's side, or whatever, whatever it is, if there have been negative utterances against your life that have been projected, speaking against you every day, lots of people do not understand that there are many entities, entities, spiritual entities, that have been deployed, or every time you, you see some persons, you hear things like, I go to, anytime I go to look for a job, maybe at the verge of getting the breakthrough you've been expecting. Certain things will happen that will destroy the things or will sabotage what you've been expecting. Maybe you're looking for a business contract or you, lots of things. There's this consistency of disappointment. There's this consistency of spiritual frustration. To this, this episode today, I want to show you how you can practically silence this force through the use of palm oil. The use of palm oil and um, divine grace, um, um, uh, holy water. You see, there is so much about these two elements that I truly cherish. When we talk about palm oil, palm oil is an element that quiets, or let's say palm oil in spirituality represent peace. Sometimes you see people who get involved in diverse things when they want to quiet the, in the, the influences, the utterances, the demonic vibration going on in someone's life, they put palm oil on it. In the clan where I come from, if, if someone takes in poison and you want to neutralize the effect of that poison, you are expected, it is believed, or you, you give the person palm oil, drinks the palm oil, and you see the effect being subsided. So there is so much about the palm oil. Likewise, this collagen, likewise, this water. There's a whole lot about spiritual water, which we will not really have time to talk about. But tonight, today, I will be sharing with you diverse things. How age of spiritual affliction. Stay with me. If you have been, like I said earlier, if you've been going through a whole lot of things in your life, spiritual disappointment, and so much that you really want to change. Now, this is what you will do. The first is that you will carry out a fast, carry out a spiritual fast, for the period of 10 days. Now, in that period of 10 days, you will taste no pepper, nothing peppery. You carry out a spiritual fast, like I said, for 10 days. You will not taste anything pepper, no peppery. You will only be on fruit, something, but you could eat any other thing, but do not take pepper for that 10 days. And now, between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., you will eat no food, drink no water. You could eat anything you want to eat between the hours of 7 and 5 p.m. But once it's 6 p.m., do not taste anything, food, and water. That's a spiritual fast. Now, in the night, during the process of this fast, for these 10 days, this is what you will do. You will take this um, 
palm oil, put it inside the container. I don't have a container here. Put it inside the container and rub it on your feet, on your face, and on your hands. Now, you will do that at night before you sleep. You do it at night before you sleep. Rub it on your hand, rub it on your feet. Then this water, this water is called divine grace water. Divine grace water. Now, what you will do is you will take the water at which you will bathe with at night before you sleep. Once you apply the oil on your body, you take this water, drop it a little, inside a little quantity of water, of bathing water. You would use it and wash your face and wash your feet and bath with it. And once you are bathing, you are going to say, whatever evil, whatever stain that has been in my life, that has not allowed me to enjoy the blessings of the Almighty, as I bathe with this water, then it will flush me. You will repeat this every night before you sleep for the period of 10 days whilst you are going on that fast. But please remember, remember, you must not taste anything peppery during that time at which you are carrying out the fast. And I want to assure you that as you carry out this, you will see the manifest power of the Almighty. Stay tuned as I come with you. Bye for now.